Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at a heavy feather snare drum by Ebenor Percussion. Ebenor Percussion are a father and son team of drum builders hailing from Quebec in Canada and started producing high-end custom-built drums in 2014. They offer a range of unique snares and full kits with very distinctive tones and visuals. In the studio today we have one of their most popular snares, a 14 by 7 inch heavy feather aluminium snare. Ebenor have had quite a bit of online exposure over the last few months over here in the UK, with notable studio drummers Ash Zone and Gary Husband recently adding an Ebenor snare to their studio collections, as well as respected US drummer and engineer Aaron Sterling of John Mayer fame owning a heavy feather snare drum. The drum features 45 degree bearing edges top and bottom, an Ebenor leather backed badge and each drum sporting a unique and eye catching patina finish that makes each drum a one of a kind creation. Accompanying this we have 10 black brass tube lugs, 2.3mm triple flange steel hoops and the Trick GS007 multi-step throw off and butt plate. Headswise we have an Ebenor branded Evans Power Center reverse dot batter over an Evans Clear Snare Side 300. Rounding things out we have Pure Sound 20 strand twisted series snare wires. With a UK retail price of £650 the snare also includes a protection racket snare case. We must make you aware that the latest versions of these drums now come with in-house made bronze hoops. Let's listen to some more examples before coming back for our thoughts.
The first thing that strikes us about the drum is the swirling, unique and distinctive finish on the shell. While the black lugs, matching black hoops and tension rods add a classy, sophisticated, understated look to the drum. Ebenor tell us that the process to create each unique patina pattern takes between three and four hours. At a medium tuning, we were presented with a very recognisable clean rock snare sound, familiar from many classic tracks. Each note was articulated perfectly at every volume. At a higher tuning, the tone was really tightened up and would fool you into thinking you were playing a much shallower drum. Rim shots were really loud and cutting, while cross sticks were thick and clear. We got a dirty, dry, fat slap when tuned down low. It may require a touch of dampening in some situations, but we really liked it when left open due to the drier nature of an aluminium shell. Overall, we really like this drum for its crisp, controlled, drier tone and versatility at all dynamics. The build quality was top notch all over. Coming supplied with quality heads top and bottom makes a big difference to the ease of tuning and the reliable and sturdy trick throw off is an industry favourite. Coming in at £650, it is towards the higher end of today's market, but you do get a bespoke, high quality and unique looking drum that I would also say is an abstract work of art when not being used on the kit that would easily stand out from the crowd on any shelf. The added bonus of getting a protection racket case with each snare makes these drums even more attractive. Ebenor are making some very unique instruments that in our opinion are visually stunning and offer something different from the norm. We would love to hear your thoughts, so as always please leave us a comment below, subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content, and we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.